Hey time travelers, in this video I'm going to be showing you just a basic walkthrough of how to mod any RX 5700 to make it get about 57 to 58 mega hashes mining Ethereum. This is my look of disapproval. Some viewers on the channel have already been watching me struggle to figure this out and where I thought the particular mod was somebody on Reddit putting Apple straps onto a 6700 XT, but he was actually just talking about his 5700 while he was in a 6700 XT thread. Like, come on, guy! You wasted my my second time! Are you getting all worked up again? I'm just telling the people about the previous videos. Don't mind other me, he's just like a figment of my imagination or something, or my subconscious feeling self-conscious, I guess. I don't know. Now, this is what it hash rate it's making with clock set on it. 53.9 at 132 watts. And you can see right there that I'm using the mining software itself to set the clocks. I don't like wasting money, so I actually had it mining in there for a while. And then before doing the video, I pulled it out of there and then pulled my Vega 56 out of there. And I was moving it from there to there. And I was like, warm, 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 wrong way. Card is warm. Ow. Warm. The card's freaking hot from mining all freaking day, but not as hot as some cards, lol. And why I did all that blah 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 is because I have two cards that I'm going to take apart and change the thermal pads on in future videos. One of them is a Power Color Red Devil 5700 XT, and the other one is an EVGA RTX 3090. XC3. That one's supposed to be making 120 mega hashes and only makes 93. But anyways, so I'm gonna stop mining so I can show you how to do this thing. Hey time travelers, it's future slash editing me here. I'm just gonna pop in a few times to help the flow of the video because of a couple of problems that I had filming it, basically technical issues and we're not gonna get into that. But to get started, you're gonna need two things installed on your computer, which I've linked in the descriptal what's it's down below. And they're both on the same page called Igor's Lab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page and find Red BIOS Editor and install that. And also grab what he calls the Flash Tool 3.04 Plus. That's actually AMD VB Flash, which means AMD's VBIOS Flash Tool that he's modified, you'll see why we need it. So you install the Red BIOS editor like any normal program, and you download the Flash Tools zip file to a folder, right click the zip file, click properties, and then unblock it by checking that box and then hit okay. Otherwise, when you unzip the files, the wall be blocked. I use WinRAR when I unzip things. You don't necessarily need this because Windows can unzip things natively, but this isn't a tutorial for unzipping files. There are literally dozens of these videos on YouTube, it's just whatever. You could figure it out. So the Flash Tool 3.04 Plus has a driver that you have to install before you can use it. It's the INSTTOOL64.exe. You're gonna wanna right click that and click Run as Administrator. And then you will see a flash because it only takes a split second to run. Now back to past me. To start with, you need to open an elevated command line and I'll show you how to do it. On the keyboard, you press Windows button and letter R at the same time and it opens up the run box thingy. In there, you type CMD and you press Shift Control on the keyboard and press Enter. Now, you don't wanna do anything else in here and you wanna be super careful because elevated command line is how things can like hijack your system. So I'm only telling you stuff that I've tested that shouldn't hijack your system or anything weird like that. All the files and programs that I use in this video will be linked in the description and I hope you guys know how to install things and make folders, etc. because this is not like a Windows tutorial. All right, this step is for inspecting the BIOS. I could have sworn I was running OBS to record the desktop, but either it crashed or the file's missing, I don't know. So I had to do other recording later and then put that in so that you could see how to do these things. You wanna to go to the folder where you're gonna keep your BIOS because you're going to do a backup of the BIOS. And I need to go to AMD ATI Flash where I have all the different versions. And I've tried different versions and I'm going to be using 3.20. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go down to 3.04 plus. 
3.04 plus is a modified one because bypassing restrictions and stuff on cards. But I actually, I want this in the command line, the elevated command line that I opened earlier. I type CD, go up here, and I'm gonna copy paste this folder path like that. Now, since there's a space right here, I need to put a quote around it, or quotes. Sometimes in certain configurations of Windows, depending on how you have it set up, you cannot copy paste into an elevated command line. So if copy paste doesn't work for you, you actually have to type the whole path out. Just make sure when you're done that the command line window is in the same folder where you extracted and set up AMD VB Flash 3.04 earlier, otherwise known as the flash tool from Igor's lab. The command is AMD VD flash or whatever it is. I just type AMD and press tab to autocomplete it, dash I. And what we're doing is inspecting the BIOS. Now we got all this info, right? Now I personally have this Google Sheets doc bookmarked. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna put ASRock RX 5700. I'm gonna go way over here on these columns I got on the right. In case I ever mess up the BIOS, I can double check what these numbers are supposed to say. Navi 10, that's what kind of GPU it actually is. The ROM size is 100,000. And the flash is GDQ8OC, whatever that says. Copy paste. And then the BIOS part number. All right, the OBS recording worked for this one or whatever, or I still have the file, I guess. So you get to see how to back up the BIOS. Now what we want to do is save the BIOS. AMD, press tab to autocomplete, S and then zero because this is the zero card. The first card, I don't know why computers call, call the first thing zero. So stomach. And then you have to give it a full path and file name. Or what do you want to save? So I'm just going to put factory BIOS dot ROM and press enter. And it says it saved it. So I go to the BIOS folder where it saved it and find factory BIOS dot ROM. And I'm going to cut with the keyboard. I'm pressing control X. And then I go to the ASRock RX5700 XT folder that I made or whatever your model is and press control V to paste. Good. Now, I need to open up Red BIOS Editor and press load. And you, as you can see, I've modded other cards, but I'm gonna go into the 5700, hit open up factory BIOS, and then go over to VRAM timings. Now this one, if I remember correctly, is Samsung memory, and this one's Hynix or Micron, but it doesn't matter. What I've figured out so far is that your graphics card has one or the other, but sometimes they store the timings for both kinds of memory in your card. And it's best just to modify both, get it done. Cause trust me, I, I wasted time modifying the wrong one. I was like, why am I not getting higher hash rate? And then I modified the other one. Click, click the, the, the card for the previous what video you if you want to say it. How can you talk like that to your peeps? Are you only going to walk in here to critique how I talk mm, to my yes, viewers? No. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what guys, this is the part where we talk about our sponsors. Do you think anybody's going to sponsor this weird talking to myself kind of style? No, I need likes and subscribes and all kinds of comments below. Engagement challenge. And make sure you click in the descriptables for things. Yeah, the de descriptable lady. Mm. Yeah, the descriptables. And this is just really simple. First thing you do is just make sure these first two boxes are like a 5700 XTs. You can find BIOSes on Tech Power Up. Just like, look at this, Tech Power Up, download ASRock 5700 XT BIOS. Let's see if my Google powers work out. See, download now. I'm not gonna do it and waste your bunch of time, but I inspected a few BIOSes and most of them have the same numbers. If they don't grab the 5700 XT from the same manufacturer, but basically make sure this is a 5700 XT, grab its BIOS, and then copy paste the first three numbers from both of these things and put in here like Samsung K4Z or whatever, 
and then Micron MT6. So you know which ones they are, but watch. You want to have the 5700 XT numbers from the corresponding boxes copied over. You could literally open two red BIOS editors and copy from one to the other, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to confuse. All right, your Samsung and Micron memory identifiers might be different depending on your card model, but that's fine. Gotta make sure you do both sets of memory lines. We're just copying the matching memory types for your card. You have two options here, which are first, for each memory type, copy the first three lines from the 5700 XT over to the 5700. And then the other lines, leave those alone. I'm gonna explain those in a minute. Your second option is to leave those first three lines alone if you don't wanna copy from a 5700 XT, but do keep in mind, you might get lower hash rates. What I was trying to demonstrate was copy pasting the numbers from the 5700 XT BIOS into Notepad and then from Notepad into a 5700's BIOS in Red BIOS Editor. But these screenshots I just put up are a better demonstration. If you don't want to do all that crazy modding, if you just want to be safe, just do this. Leave the first three boxes alone. Click in the first box, hit Control A. That's Select All. Then tab down twice so you're in the third box. Press Control C to copy. Tab, Control V to paste. Tab, Control V to paste. Tab, Control V to paste. You'll see this AF4130, BF4130, 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 BF4130. What you want is all the boxes below 1500 megahertz to have the same numbers as the 1500 megahertz. Then go over to Micron and do the same thing. Click the first box, Control A, Tab, Tab, Control C, Tab, Control V, Tab, Control V, Tab, Control V, Tab, Control V. So either way, whether you're copying the first three lines from the 5700 XT over the 5700 or not, you still have to copy all the 1500 megahertz boxes into the boxes below them. So basically, your card, when it gets up past 1500 megahertz, its timings stay the same. That's the trick here. That's how you get the higher hash rate. And make sure you do that for both memory types. And now back to past me for saving the BIOS. Then you hit save. And you're make sure you're in the same folder. You don't want to confuse yourself and put it in the wrong folder. Modded BIOS is what you're going to name it. Dot ROM or whatever you want to name it so it's not the same name so you know the difference. Not dot ROM, not my name. Dot ROM. Okay. Then you go back to your command line thingy, what's it? AMD B flash. And what we're gonna do now, it's flash the ROM onto the BIOS of that card. And you type F space dash P. F is force and P is push, I think. Zero, which is the first card. And then we need to go back to our folder where we have the modded BIOS and drag it over here. If this doesn't let you drag it, you literally have to type out the whole name of the BIOS. It may be just easier, and I'll show you this way, is to copy it to the same folder as this, like this, and then type AMD tab slash F slash P zero modded BIOS. Press enter. F, -S I didn't need F, F, ah, I can't talk. I didn't need F option in this. Authentication signature mismatch. So what I'm gonna do is cut paste that ROM file into the 3.04 plus folder. CD dot dot, CD AMD B flash 3.04 plus. And do the same command again. Double check. This is in the right folder. That's the right looking command. And the modded BIOS is in that folder. Press enter. All right, that worked. 3.04 plus is definitely the magic sauce that I'm going to put in the descriptables. You're putting magic what into your descript the what? Sounds perfectly normal. What's wrong? Well, instead of just walking away, this time I think I'm going to glitch disappear. Okay, whatever. And then uh, restart the system. So I started it up mining again, and I know I'm going to write in this file what their new hash rate is but I went ahead and copy pasted the date and the 
timings and the voltage. And I went ahead and wrote next to these two. Get out of the way, mouse! You're blocking the thing! The BIOS it came with on these two lines. So I know in the future that's the BIOS it came with and those are the clocks. So I've been mining for a minute. Let's see what we got. 57.3 at 134. So I've got that written in. I'm just putting in modded BIOS. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna get that thing out of there and put it back into there and get my Vega 56 and put it back in there. Get subscribed if you wanna see any future videos of me and other me. It's kinda of awkward, he just disappeared. He usually helps me with the end screen, whatever. Here's a really funny video where I tried to mine with a GTX 960. Over here is whatever YouTube thinks is best. And then you can subscribe to my channel right there or check out my soundtrack channel over there because I make my own soundtracks. And make sure you come back for the future videos because I will be doing the, the thermals modding on a couple cards. Bye.